sure this thing is going this time. Good, after, good afternoon. Um, I've been thinking about ontological bearings in, in the case of the situation we're in with uh, creationism and uh, atheism. And I've been looking at this from the standpoint of the uh, watchmaker's watch. And see, it, I think the theory goes as this. If, if a watch has a if the watch has a maker, I can't believe how simplistic this is. If the watch has a maker, then it stands the reason that uh, anything that is made that's not man has a maker of its own. That's not man. Uh, in the case, the universe. Now, uh, let's dismiss the fact that if we've cranked it back from day to day, hour to hour causality, all the way back to the Big Bang. Got out of the gaps. Well, God did that. Uh, no, he didn't. As far as the watch is concerned, the watch clearly was made by somebody. If it, whether or not it has a manufacturer's label on it or not, it's clear that each and every one of us, that the watch was manufactured. Someone manufactured. We recognize the watch as a manufactured object. There are other time-keeping pieces. Uh, you take a stick and you stick it in the ground, you will have fashioned the stick into a sundial and it becomes a watch of its kind. If you were to take a naturally growing twig out that's been rooted into the ground and has straight enough to, to use that as a sundial, well, it's, it's a timepiece, but the... Uh, like an abstract noun, it's it's all in your head. You do the competition in your head anyway. And but it's still a twig though. The twig is natural. What makes it a watch or a timepiece is entirely in your head. The nickel difference between making the watch piece yourself or using a naturally growing twig out of the ground. But know that addresses the idea of the uh, twig growing out of the ground as some sort of manufacturing mechanism. The, the twig obviously came from other twigs, it grew. I think what's, I think that criteria is being applied to what happens in the beginning of the universe. It, it's there, therefore that someone made it. False. It's a natural occurring event. Um, there is, not only is there not a God, there's not even a sign reflected in nature and its natural processes that shows that even a God worked his will on it or anybody. These are natural processes. It's been mathematically deduced all the way back to the bank. problem is there's another set of criteria involved that I've been thinking about for the last couple of days. The idea of God as an idea. If God doesn't exist in the universe as he clearly does not, where does he exist? Comes from people. Everything you know about God that's ever been anything about God, it came from culture. Human culture. Doesn't matter what nationality. Comes from human culture, human literature. You refer to the Bible because the Bible is the ancient literature. It's it's on paper. That's where God is. He's on paper. It's a paper God. He exists in the minds of men. He does not exist in the minds of animals. He exists in my mind. I'm thinking of him now. Not kindly either. God only exists as a concept. 
He's a concept. He's an idea. Ideas live to the point where you can almost say it exists. An idea exists. You're thinking it. You're thinking the idea, so the idea exists, even as a thought. You know, I think, therefore I am. I think that's another watchmaker's argument. I think of God, so God is real. False. But there's one good thing about an idea of God living as an idea. Ever since I was old enough to know what God is, or at least what he represents himself to be, I always fantasize about kicking his ass and killing him. But since he's just a non-existent entity, I have no hope of getting my hands around his fucking pink neck, you know, ripping the beer out. But when I think of God as a living idea, the whole paradigm changes. I can kill him. We can kill him. Kill him where he does exist as a concept. I can actually get my revenge on him, even though he doesn't exist, just by killing the concept of him. I like that. I like that a lot. And the best part of it is, this can be done. It's beginning to be done. I'm trying to think about all the ways I can kill him, you know? But just killing the idea of him was good enough for me. Uh, I guess you guys are doing good the way you're doing right now. You know, Sam Harris, Hitchens, uh, may the great Sagan bless Hitchens' name. Uh, Dawkins, get him, and others. And myself. I count myself in. And, yeah, we can kill God. I really like that. Put his ass out. And it's happening in our lifetimes. We are feeling the heat. Something to think about. All right, I mean it. We can do this. Kiss that fucking big, big bastard goodbye. I think this thing is starting to haywire again. Yeah, it's trying. It's trying to screw up. Hang on, I think God's up to something. Hang on.